Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Scratch Junior channel. I'm Gary. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the motion blocks for characters on the stage. I suggest that you should use a pen and a piece of paper to sketch the story first before creating the project. Okay, now let's add a new portrait and create a story. In order to do that, there are few steps to follow. Step 1. Where does our story take place? Let's say our story takes place in a park. In order to add a park as the background for our stage, we click the landscape image on top of the interface screen. Then we select park as the background for our stage. There you go. Step 2. Who are the characters in our story? Let's say our story has only one character, the walking cat. When you first create a new project, a cat character is added to your project by default. You can first remove the cat by click and hold the cat on the left side of the interface screen. A cross button appears. You can click the cross button and remove the cat. In order to add a walking cat as the character on our stage, we click the Add button on the left side of the interface screen. Then we select Walking Cat as the character. There you go. Step 3. Where are the starting positions for our characters? We need to decide where our characters should be located on the background. Let's move the walking cat to the starting point of the trail. There you go. Step 4. What are the actions for our characters? Once we have the background, characters, and starting positions of the characters, we can make up our story. In our story, the walking cat is walking along the trail in the park and reached the bench with a tree beside it. Okay, let's add a script for walking cat. In order to add the script for the character, you need to click the related character and add the poses accordingly. On the bottom section of the interface screen, you can add the poses for our walking cat. The best practice is to add the start and end activities block first. There you go. Then you want the walking cat to move along the trail and reach the bench on the right. You can use the motion blocks to move the walking cat. Let's add move right block in the process. We want the walking cat to move to the next spot of the trail. But, how many steps should the cat move? In order to know the exact steps, you can turn on the grid of the stage. Once the grid is on, you can see the screen is divided into squares. And those squares are the measurements for the steps to move left, right, up or down. Let's change the steps of move right to free. We want to know if the cat will move to the next spot of the trail. We can run the script by clicking the green flag on the top of the interface screen. Let's run it. Very good. The cat has moved to the next spot. Now we can move all the characters back to the starting position by clicking the reset character button on top of the interface screen. Then we can start adding the rest of the blocks. It will move one step up and four steps right and one step up and two steps right and one step up and two steps right. Done. Let's test our script. 
Very good. The cat walks along the trail and reaches the bench. We can turn on the presentation mode on the top of the interface screen, and run our story in full screen mode. Let's run our story. Very nice. The final step is to name our project. Click the yellow button on top right hand corner of the interface screen. Let's change the name to Jogging Cat. Done. As you can see, it is so easy to create your own story. Always remember to follow our four steps. Thank you for watching. See you again soon.